Well, today I'm going to show you something that's hopefully useful. You got your guy walking in your game here, but his feet don't make any noise, so that's pretty boring. So I'm going to show you how to add synchronized footsteps. And I'll show you what I mean here. Disable the silent guy and put on this guy. He makes sound when he walks, he makes sounds when he walks on a different surface, and he makes sound when he jumps. So how did I do all of that? So we'll disable this guy and go back to the silent one. And what I did here is in the quick move script, I added a few functions and a few things. I added this step source, which is this audio source you drag into here, and these step sounds which are a bunch of sounds that I have over here. And you just put them in there, one at a time, so they're in the right order. All right. So in the script, here's my public audio source, step source, that you drag your audio source into, and the audio clips that are going to play when you walk. All right. So here's three functions that do the walking sounds. Jump sound, right foot, and left foot. And what they do is the thing casts a ray down to see what it's standing on. You gotta make sure it's long enough to reach the ground for your guy. And I put the tag ground on my terrain so it knows if it's the left step and it's on the terrain it uses sound zero and it uses this volume, makes a random volume for it. If it's on the walkway, it uses sound 2 for the left foot, because sound 1 is the right foot for the first step type. And it also gets a random sound level. And then if it does find a clip because it casts onto something that it's standing on, then it plays one shot of the clip at the volume that it chose. Same for the right foot, but like I said, it's using 1 and 3. And the jump is pretty much the same thing. Just it has a longer ray cast because it's in the air when it hits. Alright, so how does it know what to do over here? So what you do is you select a character. And you go to Window, Animation. And it's got the list of animations on your character. But you see walking is read-only. And we can't do anything with that. So still clicking on your thing. You go on the animator and pick the one that it's using and actually no, we go to this walking thing and we have to duplicate because it's the animation I'm using. I have to duplicate it. Control D duplicates it over to here. So it's named the same thing. So now you pick your animation up here and drag this one onto it. It'll look the same but don't worry it has changed. And you can make a folder for these, the ones that you duplicated. Let's call it something like duplicates. Whoops, however you spell it, whatever. I'm not very good at typing. And you just drag that in there. So now you don't get all confused with which ones you have. And we click back on our guy and go back to the animation window and actually go to this screen so we could see him. And what you do is up here in the timeline. Oh, I guess it would help us. <laughs> I picked the right walking animation. You go up here in the timeline and drag it until his foot hits the ground. It's right about there, I would say. And you right click this, add animation event. And since that's his left foot, we pick the left step. All right, then we do the same thing for the right foot. Just drag this thing until this foot goes on the ground. Okay, we'll call it there. Add animation event. Right step. And you could do the same thing for the jump if you want to. You know, just find out where he lands on the ground. And I seem to have already done this one, so that's okay. So let's test them. And 
now you see he's got so many walks. And hopefully when he jumps, yes. So hopefully that was help, helpful or whatever that word would be. And I will catch you next time.